back with a big brother update not able to stay up late this week to give early morning recaps and of the live feed so i thought i would give one tonight to recap sunday and monday now if anything happens monday night i won't be able to recap it for a while but i don't really feel like much is going to change tonight or tuesday i think wednesday is the day some stuff might change uh we'll try and get to why this is probably gonna be a quick video but let's start with the inevitable derek x was indeed officially put up on the block by sarah beth slash kylan who's controlling her hoh now everything i said the other day in my my last recap video over the weekend remains true derek x got himself into this mess for many reasons the biggest ones being he just felt too safe he was telling people he was getting the 100 bb bucks he was telling people he was saving for the coin flip he didn't use the roulette wheel when he had the chance to save himself so yeah he did bring it on himself. So now it becomes an issue of can Derek X really stay in this game or is this the final nail in his coffin? A, another successful backdoor this season, Derek X responsible for the last one. And I know people are saying he shouldn't have backdoored Christian, he shouldn't have targeted Christian. I think he should have targeted Christian. I've always just said, I don't know if the back door was the way to go. It gave Sarah Beth a reason in her mind of why she needed to backdoor Derek X because he nominated her as a pawn. It just gives people a reason when you, even if you're nominated as a pawn, it's always going to be in the back of your mind that that person nominated you. So that's just how it goes. So, I mean, I know it was dangerous to put up both Alyssa and Christian to try and take Christian out rather than backdoor him, but I still think some of the after effects coming at DX now, but the biggest thing is he has just felt too safe since backdooring Christian, kind of got to his ego. So the guys in the cookout, specifically Kylan and Xavier, still want Derek X out of this game, even though the girls have some issues with it. But it feels like Tiffany and Hannah aren't willing to really fight for it, at least yet. So I do think Derek X is going to have to fight for it himself. And I think he can do a decent job of trying to stay in this game. But it is going to come down to Wednesday. Because Wednesday is when Xavier goes into solitary confinement. So Xavier will be away from everybody up until the vote which is an interesting thing. Hmm. See, that's a twist I actually like compared to the ridiculousness of a random will. Because it changes up the dynamic of it. Xavier won't be there. So it gives Derek X a chance to push for himself to stay over Claire without Xavier being in people's ears. The keys still remain the Jokers, and it still remains that Tiffany blew her shit with the Jokers long ago by just acting like she didn't need to talk game with them, which was just dumb. Now, I think I think even Ozza right now, Ozza's playing her own game. Nobody wants to give her credit for it, but she's playing her own game. She's made an alliance with Alyssa in the last few days. So Tiffany. And Hannah, not putting in the work with Aza, has just brought Aza closer to Alyssa and Xavier. And then there, Alyssa and Xavier are now working closely with Kylan and Sarah Beth. So they just really blew that socially, for sure. But since Derek X and Aza have a relationship, it's just been personal, though. Derek X needs to, for once, do the thing I've been wanting him and Aza, to be fair, to do for so many weeks now and just have a real hardcore game talk for a few hours. I think he can pull Aza to the side of keeping him. But right now, I think Aza also knows, just like all the cookout really knows in the back of their minds that keeping Derek X around is dangerous. 
and I, Derek X stands like to act like the only way the cookout women are going to make the end is if Derek X stays in this game. And that's just simply not true. There's so much game left to play. But yes, Xavier does have a pretty damn good hold on the game right now. But I do think there's more ways for the cookout women to make the end, or at least one of them to make the end, besides just keeping Derek X around. But I do think it would help to keep Derek X around, but it really is a double-edged sword because you can only keep him around so long and it's getting close to the end of the game. So I'm up and down. I, I would love for Derek X to stay and have Sarah Beth blindsided, have Xavier blindsided. But I just don't know if that's going to happen this season with the cookout being the dominant alliance and with them seeming to always want to come up with the consensus in the end of who's going to get voted out. But that leaves, if Derek X can convince Aza to keep him in this game, it's going to, he's going to need Aza to then convince Derek F to keep Derek X in this game. And honestly, Aza already brought this idea up to Derek F on Sunday night about keeping Derek X. And Derek F went to talk to Xavier and Kylan about it, but they reeled Derek F back in that Derek X is dangerous. He has the money for the BB Bucks next week to get the coin. So there's too many things against Derek X right now, but he has one small shot to stay. And it will all come down to Wednesday when Xavier is in his solitary confinement or whatever. A few more things I'll talk about. Uh, I could finally, for once this season, give Claire some props for one thing. I liked that she had a conversation with Kylan and kind of threatening her jury vote that if Derek F goes to the end, she will vote for Derek F to win. Now, I think that is a viable strategy to, you know, Use your jury vote. If you see, feel like you're going to be in jury, why not threaten people with your jury vote? I would. Even if I didn't mean it, I would do it. Because honestly, if I was in the jury, I probably would not vote for Derek F. to win. I don't think he would be a good winner necessarily. He really, I like Derek F. personally. He does make me laugh, but he really hasn't done shit. I feel like Aza have played a more dynamic game than Derek F for sure because she's always making different connections, whether, it, whether it's personally and now even game with Alyssa. But I do wonder if that will sit in the back of Kylan's mind because to me, I still feel like even though Tiffany's jury management leaves a lot to be desired, I feel like Kylan is having the worst jury management so far if people are going to be bitter but it doesn't strike me necessarily as a super bitter jury yet, but we'll see how it all comes together. But yes, Claire, for once, I'll give her a little bit of props for using her jury vote as strategy, whether she means it or not. And then lastly, I love the fact that Hannah didn't play her BB bucks. She has 150, she needs 100 more to egg up the BB bucks. I think that is the perfect scenario that if Derek X goes, everybody thinks, everybody in the cookout thinks only Derek F will have enough money to flip the coin and be the secret HOH or whatever. But if Hannah really gets a hundred bucks and Hannah is truly the secret HOH and she doesn't tell fucking Tiffany or somebody that she's the secret HOH, I think that would make for a really good week it would very, be very interesting because I don't think anybody would know if she doesn't tell anybody that she's the secret HOH. Everybody is expecting it to be Derek F if Derek X goes, of course. Because then it could kind of frame Derek F or it's going to confuse everybody to wonder who really had the money to do that. So I hope she keeps that up. And if Derek X goes, Hannah being the secret HOH brings the most, I guess, out of everybody left, it brings the most interest to the, the twist. And I assume she would put up Sarah Beth and Kylan, but who knows? Maybe she'd do something crazy. Probably not. She needs to. 
But we will see what happens for now. Derek X is in trouble. He has one last gasp. But it's going to have to be Wednesday when Xavier is away.